Welcome again to Rooster TV. This time in front of the camera we have uh, our senior coach Josh Franco. Josh, five months after a fairly solid pre-season, how did you find it? Yeah, look, I guess taking over the senior coaching position at North Adelaide, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a bit of a different lifestyle change, if you like. I'm a former teacher, uh, so I've taken a bit of a back step from that. But stepping into the mix and back into the footy scene, I've really enjoyed it, Greg, and uh, obviously looking forward to the year ahead. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, look, the, the busiest people in the pre-season program are, of course, our fitness people. How have you found uh, the introduction to the club of Dave Binney? And, uh, and his support staff. Look, Dave Binney's been outstanding. Um, look, he's got a background. He, he's come from the Adelaide Crows, so he's, I think he worked under Stephen Schwert there for, for a couple of years. So he's got a lot of knowledge and a lot of new ideas. And I know he's, he's related well to the playing group, and I found him very approachable, very, very easy to talk to, and he's been great support for me and obviously great support for the playing group. One of the things that often gets uh, you know, is, is a surprise to everyone coming into a footy club is the commitment that SANFL players make to play SANFL footy. Um, how did you find that, the fact that they need to be doing something every day? Look, I don't care what anyone says, I really do admire the SNFL footballers. Now we started training, keeping in mind it was November the 8th, um, a lot of these guys have got full time jobs or they're still at uni, um, I'm not sure we've got too many unemployed at the moment, but they are busy outside of football. Three nights a week, sometimes on a Saturday, to come from work, some are labourers, some are school teachers, um, to actually come to training after a hard day's work, and I know what it's like in the real world, I've been there and done it. Um, believe it or not, and, and you know, at the end of a day's teaching, you can be tired mentally, but to get up for a training session, um, these guys do it week in, week out. So, I look, I, I really admire what they do. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, absolutely astonishing, if you ask me, just uh, every day of the week nowadays in the SANFL. Uh, look, we've moved into the season. Um, we're at round three this week versus Port Adelaide on the Sunday. After a couple of narrow losses to West Adelaide and South Adelaide, how have you found the first two weeks in the coaches' box? Look, it's been all right. I, I suppose I, when I got my first taste back at, uh, at the parade against Nord on the Friday night, um, it really just confirmed to me that there's, there's not a hell of a lot you can do up in the coach's box game day. And I guess that's the day you judge the harshest, but there's not a lot you can do apart from make a few moves and obviously speak to the playing group at the breaks. But um, look, I really enjoyed it. I've got terrific support around me in Matty Slade and, and Mick Redden. Um, so they've been terrific support for me. Have I found it? West Adelaide, look, we, I thought we were a bit unlucky in the end not to, to get the two points, but I was really, really disappointed with the performance uh, Saturday night against South Adelaide. We lacked intensity and, and I guess it was almost a reversal of the form we showed against West Adelaide, even though we didn't get the, the two points. Yeah. Look, I, I agree. I think West Adelaide was encouraging. South Adelaide, you know, as we spoke this morning, too often players make an excuse of going down south when it's wet and windy and I, I just got the impression that a couple of our players may not have been as well prepared as we had hoped. Look, I don't think that's an unfair call, and, and if you look at South Adelaide, and it's a, you know, I think they call it Polar, Polar or Arctic Park, Arctic Park or whatever it's called. Um, but having said that, the deck's actually a really good deck. Uh, it wasn't perfect conditions, it was windy, a bit wet, so maybe there's something in that. Yeah, no, well, they play in it. That's, as, uh, that's how I see it. But look, players, to, uh, players who have impressed, I mean, you've come in, we've got a new coaching group, um, you know, a new fitness group, etc., and a number of new players. and and a new game style and I think uh, I've had messages from our supporters saying that they're very happy to see uh, you know, some, some good contested footy being won and also some quick movement of the footy, particularly in game one against West Adelaide. Um, what's the plan for the future? Is it, is it more contested footy? Is that the emphasis? More run? Which way, which, which way will we go? I think you just summed it up pretty well, Greg. I think, uh, and what I'm all about is contested footy and I think if you look at uh, and I've, I've conveyed this to the playing group, you look at the best side in Australia and, and, and that's Collingwood at the moment, their intensity, their contested ball is, is outstanding and um, you know, if you can emulate that to some degree then I think we'll be very competitive. But also I think all, uh, looking at the playing group you've got and playing to their strengths and I, you know, I really believe that we've got some quick skillful players and playing an attacking style of footy which will suit our group um, and, and you know, if we can get those two elements right then I think we'll be competitive. Yeah. Look, one of, the, one of the frustrating things for I'm sure us and our supporters has been a number of untimely injuries we've had to, to some pretty important players too and you know uh, with, with those players now coming back come round three, round four and a number of reserves boys playing well um, there's, you know, there's a lot of bright stuff to, to happen in front of us I'm sure. Yeah look there is Greg and there's a lot of positives uh, and you know on the upside of the, the reserves playing so well on Saturday against South Adelaide is that they're putting pressure on the, the league players and, mm. and you know I, I suppose we're in a I guess it's a nice boat to be in, even though we haven't won any games yet. So there are definitely some reserves players that are, you know, that are putting pressure on the league players and it's a healthy spot to be in. Yeah, no, absolutely. Look, Josh, we're looking forward to round three. 
Uh, we're playing a revitalised Port Adelaide who have been really good since their first trial. I think they've won just about every game except for last week against Norwood two week, uh, by two points. And uh, look, Josh, uh, what are we expecting? Look, Port Adelaide, as you said, they are revitalised. They've got a lot of quick players. They're a quick side. And look, at the end of the day, the ball's in our court. If we turn up and play like we did against South Adelaide, we haven't got a hope in hell. But if we can turn up and come to play, then we'll be very competitive. So I guess in closing, all the supporters out there, get to Prospect Oval on Sunday. It should be a big, big game. Yeah, look forward to seeing you there. See you.